So this is Tim from Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. As you can see, I've got a flat tire. In today's episode, we're going to take you through how do you repair such a thing. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. So a couple things, uh, as you saw, I struggled a little bit getting that uh, tire off with the uh, power drill. So I went and got a torque wrench and it, it takes it off it's, with no pressure. I, as you see, it's a Can-Am 1000 and uh, it's an 11 16 size uh, lug. What we're gonna do now next is I've got a pail of water that I'm going to be putting into putting some soap into that to uh, create a nice solution so that we can see the air bubbles off the tire and then to I'm just going to show you a couple of key tools here you'll need to get one of these this is kind of a bore so wherever we find wherever we find the uh, hole we're going to use this to drill a hole and then we're going to use this I don't know what it's called but you can see it's got a little bit of a uh, a gap in here and we're going to use it for these little plugs and we'll use that to insert the plugs and then we'll put a bunch of uh, cement glue on those plugs just as we enter them in to seal it up works slick and you can get these at Harbor Freight anywhere I get them at Harbor Freight just because they're cheap so leak we found relatively slow leak but definitely it's uh, it's it's happening so we're gonna dry this off right now and prepare it for a plug right, so proper terms rasp this is that one that's got some threads on it that we're gonna bore the hole this is a needle and it's got a little slot here so I'm just getting all ready before we go to insert this plug you can just take a little flathead split that apart feed this feed this plug in so that you're all ready and then what I do, just to be a little extra safe, is, is these, these plugs are pretty sticky anyway, but what I'll do is I'll put some rubber cement on there just to make sure that I get a good seal. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this rasp in. We're going to bore our hole. Next thing after that, we're going to insert the plug after we've put the rubber cement on here.
So now what we're going to do is we're going to let that sit and dry up a little bit. And what we're going to do is clip this off and voila, that, that plug's done. And then we'll do a check just to make sure, hey, we got a good seal. All right, so let's check, see if we got any leaks. And you can see there's no air bubbles coming out of there. So try it again, nothing. That's just what we want to see. So what we're going to do is clip that as short as we can with some wire cutters. And we're ready to go. So we've got it pretty well short. And uh, so this should last us as long as the life of this tire. And if it doesn't, we'll put on another plug. So this, is our quick, this concludes our episode here. Just a quick tip and tri tips and tricks as far as how to uh, put a plug in a, t in a tire and uh, get you back on your way. So until next time, be safe, have fun, and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.